Hello. Great to have you back. Ah, today, another difficult conversation. That's basically what parenting conundrums is all about. Mm, even the word itself, conundrums. So welcome back. My name is Faith Motegi and I'm pleased to have you on my platform. So today, hmm, puberty, puberty. This animal that is greater than, I don't know, KCSE, KCPE, this thing that has that when explained to you when you hear about it, it's either a source of fun or fear. Ah, because when it comes to in class, usually you're told about the reproductive organs. So there's usually that uh, <laughs> funny, funny sneaker at the back or laugh or anxious giggle that happens. Fun fact, even before we get into the nitty gritty, I noticed that during human sexuality class in when I was doing my bachelor, my yes, my first degree, <laughs> once upon a time, human sexuality class hakuna mutu alilala. Nobody slept. Why? What will you chonjo? And then there are the times when who someone has ever asked a question. Don't wanna come kono, come chomoka. So, I want us to start the conversations now so that people don't embarrass themselves. And today, we are going to talk about the girls, the pretty ladies, the flowers, the queens. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Last time we talked about the boys. Thank you for the response. I am happy that people are having that conversation. And please, let it, let it continue. And we're still going to talk about them in this. Yes. Periods and boys. We to traffic up on. Someone. So thank you. Thank you for the likes, the subscriptions, uh, the comments, one-on-one. One on one. <laughs> Those are usually the best where someone says, by the way, mm, there's a point. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, to this lady, uh, this girl who is about to enter womanhood, mm, is this thing called period, men menstruation, mm, all those words. And I was wondering... How was your experience when you got your first period? If you were to talk or tell or write to your younger self, what would you tell them? What ammunition should they have? Whether physical, all those things. What would you tell your nine-year-old self? Others started at nine. Your 12-year-old self, your 16-year-old self, or 18-year-old self. Yes, terms and conditions apply. Others get it early, others get it late. But the way puberty has been uh, explained, the way puberty is expressed, whether it's the periods, whether it's the wet dreams for the boys, whether it's the what, the breaking of the wounds. <laughs> That's what I usually say when I get a cold. Nikipata base asma delayed puberty. <laughs> yes, but I'm not... That's just on a light note, okay? Thank you. No questions, please. <laughs> ah... So, why do we explain it in such a scary way to the point where and it's unavoidable? Yes, there might be medical cases where someone does experience them for whatever reasons, but it's part of life. So, how do we package it in a way, in a formative way, instead of fear and scare, scary connotations behind it? So, we are going to talk about periods. Yes, even though you're uncomfortable, please get comfortable with this topic. Whether you're a gent or a lady, please, let's get comfortable, okay? Because the more we talk about it, the better for all of us, okay? So, have you thought about what would you tell your little self uh, before you are no longer a girl, you are now a woman? Have that in mind and pass it on to the next generation. And parents, guardians, don't wait for the signs of puberty, for you to start talking about puberty. Don't wait for your boy to break his voice for you to start saying about puberty. When it comes now to this topic for the girls, because that's where I'm well <laughs> advanced about, don't wait for her to first get the period for you to talk about periods. Kukona vitu zinafanyika nzani, 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 that she needs to take care of or be aware of before the first sign of her period. So these are the topics that we need to have. And we're going to go just four tips, four, five tips uh, that I would like to pass on to you, okay? So are we ready for the conversation? Please, usihepe, unahepa kwa nini? Periods, yes, it's uncomfortable. Ah, 
Yes, before we get to the tips, someone mentioned sometimes it is so uncomfortable. You even wish if the universe, Mother Nature, if you're not planning to get pregnant, why do we have to go through this process? Why don't they just write a letter or send an SMS or an email and say, congratulations, if you are not trying for a baby, you're not, you're not uh, pregnant. Uh, so let's see you next, next, next month. It's of all the troubles that we go to. Anyway, that is just, I'm still waiting for the letter, even as we go through all these things every month. <laughs> Tip number one. Yes, I had to take a deep breath because even you. <laughs> I know by the time I mention these things, it's easier said than done, cliche statement. But I need you to always be. <sighs> if you don't do this, you're delegating your responsibility to somebody else. So you don't get you if you want your child to have certain values. You don't get to delegate your duty to somebody else. And periods, it's it's going to come unless something is really wrong. So start the conversation. Start small. How do you start small? When you see the advertisement here, yeah. sanitary towels, qua, <laughs> qua media. The time when she sees when she's when the girl or even boy, curiosity, yes. When they are going through your stuff, the shopping that you have, and you find them, they get the, the sanitary towels, or the, um, the, tamp the tampons, the menstrual cup, they're wondering, hey, start that conversation. It's not, it's not diapers ya watu wakubwa. There are diapers ya watu wakubwa. And usually that's not, ah, it's a sad case when it comes to that part. So, start the conversations. When you see it on television. Imam by your pregnancy also, the very fact that you are a child doesn't mean that you can't get pregnant. It can be a conversation starter. Age appropriate. I always mention that. So you just start small. Okay. You start it's called planting the seed. Don't wait for that moment. Just plant the seed. If they ask, or oh, by the way, you see this, the posters, the books, the video resources. This is where I come in and just give you a heads up. So start those conversations that by the way, your body is changing. You don't five year old. Just mention that the body is changing. As you grow older, the same way your teeth, they fall off, that kind of thing. You grow older, you grow taller, that kind of thing. So they need to know that gradually, every year as they grow older, that their bodies are changing. And then that's when now you slide in the information that, by the way, you need this and this. Which is, we're coming to that point, okay? Good. So, number one, start the talk. Start the, the talk. Number two, <sighs> Prepare beforehand. Your little girl is not going to stay a little girl forever. That princess in front of you is going to be a queen. Right in front of your eyes. And other people are noticing. Which is a topic for another day. Who? Your baby. Yes, you'll be your baby forever. But my dear, things are happening. Yes, you're happy that she's becoming 10. That she's turning 8. That she's turning 12. Who? Who? So, prepare beforehand. This I am really concerned about. You need to tell your child that, by the way, there are certain terms and conditions that apply. And you have to give her all the bases. What are all these bases? She can be an early bloomer. That means she may get her periods before everybody else. Therefore, she has nobody else to talk to or to relate with. So, she'll become like a lone ranger. She'll be this... This person at an island. So she needs to know that if she starts early, it's not a bad thing. So you have to cover that base. That by the way, it usually starts around this time. But it can start early. It can start normally like 12, 13 or even you can be a late bloomer. That means you have to build this girl's self-esteem such that if everybody in her class, everybody her age is suddenly using pads. And for her, she, does, she she has no idea what all this is all about. Then her self-esteem may shrink. So you need to cover all the bases. Early bloomer, normal, normal. Early bloomer can be nine. Uh, normal is usually 12, 13. And then late bloomer can be even 18, 16 years. So what does a child do if her periods don't start like the others? Such that ata wengine wakimchongoa, which is another point we are going to talk about. You don't feel bad like, hey, did I miss the bus? What is wrong with me? So you, 
you need to feed into her self-esteem and tell her that by the way if this starts early if this starts normally if this starts late you are still good okay good so let them not feel like it's a race everybody's body is different good today i'm breathing i am breathing because some of these things i wish and i'm not blaming my mama uh -uh, she did her part oh she did her part but in mefika Period kit, supplies, prepare the same way, not the same way, almost the same way as mothers, expectant mothers prepare the pregnancy kit, not pre pregnancy delivery kit, that name, that kabag of, ooh, baby is coming, let's go. Have a period kit, in it a period, in it on me, welcome to womanhood care package, call it what you may. Work, like for that first one, that's what I was asking at the beginning. What would you have wanted the first time you got this this lady that shows up every month? What would you have wanted? So have a period kit. Work a killer kit too. An extra, you have the, the, the sanitary towels, you have the tampons. Nowadays, they are menstrual cups. You tell her all that about uh, having an, an extra, what do you call it, underwear, lingerie, and panty, yes, the words. Uh, tell her um, uh, what, have, have what, have candy, mm, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate. Now, when you're having this kit is when you're exploring. This happens. This this is how you take care of your hygiene. This is where you start talking about, by the way, when it comes to wipes, you bump your body order. How to, when you have an a, <coughs> accident, accident, maze. Ooh. Ooh. I told you, I breathe. Yes. In it, giving her the necessary ammunition such that when this thing happens, you're telling me, you, but you think you're ruling me. No, I am in charge. Let's do this. So, what is welcome? What is your think of everything we may not say it all here but if you are to have i don't know why i'm getting excited over this <laughs> if you are to have the perfect welcome to womanhood care package mm, what would you put in there please don't forget the chocolate don't forget the snacks don't forget the movies don't forget a nice fluffy teddy bear Whew. and all those things what are they called uh, the hot water bottles all that even tips and tricks Weka hapo. Your birthday gift. Unakuna fikiria. Sasa fikiria. Welcome to woman gift. Mm. Brainstorming? Yo ni homework. Please <laughs> tell me in the comments below. Utaandika nini? Utaweka nini? Kwa hiyo. Welcome to womanhood. A period kit. Ah. Is there a time machine that we can go back to? Ah. Anyway. Yeah. We can, if you get that, then we stop corona. Yes? And, okay. Then this pandemic thing ma good as you're doing that don't be as overly dramatic as me <laughs> don't whatever you're going through as a as a woman as a fellow woman may not be happening to her she may not get the same pains as you the same symptoms as you or the pimple or the nose or the headache that comes or whatever it is so don't over dramatize it tell her that certain things come so you need to track your periods that's one of the tips that she needs to know so that these things don't and especially at the beginning of the of uh, the periods is usually not consistent so she needs to be hmm, officer she needs to be alert that can be one of the main things so uh, that you need to tell her so how does she track her periods what uh, how did, does she take care of her nutrition her hygiene and all that okay good sasa wanaume hmm. if you're blessed to have boys within that family uh the father figure is there or you are the father figure have this conversation also in their presence such that if the girl is with the father and something happens then it doesn't become an uncomfortable moment of uh, <laughs> me don't know these things so the fathers, the sons, the brothers also need to know that, by the way, certain things happen at certain times. If sis needs this, if daughter needs this, this is what you can think of, okay? Let's normalize this. Let's try. We are trying, yes? The difficult questions, we are trying. Last but not least, definitely not least, 
teach girls to have each other's backs. Ladies, you know what I mean. Like, there can be a situation where you just need some assurance that everything is okay. So girls need to have each other's backs. They should not be the ones to 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 joke or make a joke of you or make you the the the, the, the what. Yeah, let, let them not be the ones to attack you. Let them be the ones that quickly, even the boys, even, when it comes even to this, quickly give you a jacket or a sweater, tie around you, your waist, or tell you, hey, by the way, Niaje, can we go to the toilets like real quick? Ama, by the way, I have this extra and that kind of thing. Let us have each other's backs. And I've taken a pause.